Hello everybody and welcome to day two of my beginner sewing course. Today we're going to be learning about your sewing machine a little more in depth. Now you probably don't have the same sewing machine as me, but that's fine because learning about my sewing machine is going to help you learn about yours since they are kind of similar in many ways. If you're still having problems with your sewing machine after this, um, just write down below the name of your machine and what the problem is and I'm going to do some research on my own, try to see what I can find to help you or even refer you to a video if that can help. But don't worry, if you've had this problem, odds are someone before you has had that problem too and someone made a video on YouTube about it. So in this video, we're going to be learning about what your sewing machine can do, different types of needles, uh, different types of presser feet, and what to do if fabric ever gets stuck in your sewing machine, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> but it's usually pretty easy to fix. All right then, let's get into it. All right. Oh shit. My cat's eating my cord. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Alright, so first things first, you are going to be plugging your pedal into your sewing machine, like this. And then the power cord. On the side of the machine, you're always going to have a hand wheel, and when you turn it, make sure it is towards you. Right here, you have your bobbin winding station. Mine is a little dirty. Here is the spoolie for the thread with the little cap. And right here, you have the screen with all the stitches. On your sewing machine, it might be another wheel, uh, a couple of wheels, probably, and that's where you can pick out your stitches. So as you can see right now, uh, the straight stitch is selected and it says that we have to use the presser foot A. Now, if you want to switch the length um, to do a gathering stitch, for example, you can just click on this and then go up, 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 up. I like to use five for the gathering stitch. And to go back, all you have to do is press this button. Now, let's say you wanted to do a blind stitch. So you would click on this button and go over this one, number 11. And as you can see, it tells you to switch out the presser foot and to use uh, the letter D. Now this is presser foot A, and if you keep using this one, your needle might get stuck on it or like it might get hit the metal and well, that's not good for your needle, so don't do that. Never forget to change the presser foot. Now, in order to find presser foot D, you're gonna have to go in this box and find all the accessories, and this is where all your presser feet are supposed to be. So let's start with this one. This is a buttonhole uh, presser foot. It's used to make buttonholes, you guessed it. This one is so tiny, it's kind of hard to see, uh, and it's also transparent, which doesn't help, but this is the um, button presser foot, also used to make buttons. Right here we have the blind hem foot. Uh, this is used to make a blind hem on a pair of pants. This is basically where you know there's a seam, but like you can't see the line. It's a super professional finish. And as you can see, it says D on it, which means that's the one that our sewing machine wanted us to use for stitch number 11. This one is a satin stitch foot, uh, mostly used for appliques. This one is the rolled hem foot, my arch nemesis. Uh, you will not see me using this one and I will not be teaching you how to use it because I have a way to make a rolled hem that's going to look a lot better than if you use this one. And the reason why I don't like it is because the beginning of your stitch always looks kind of wompy. I don't like that. I like a professional finish. This one you might like. It is the overcasting foot. It helps you make an overcast stitch and it just makes your edges look more professional and I guess you could use this instead of a serger if you don't have one. In your accessory tray, you will also find your needles. These are the ones that I have. Depending on the fabric you're using, you might want to switch needles. There are two types of needles, regular point needles and ball point needles. Regular point needles are used for all woven fabrics because the needle will penetrate the fabric threads of the woven fabric. And ballpoint needles are used for sewing knits. The rounded tip is gonna pass between the fabric threads by separating them. Each needle style comes in different sizes of needles depending on the weight of your fabric. There is lightweight, medium weight, and heavy weight. 
Now that you know how to thread your sewing machine, we're gonna be focusing more on this part of the machine. And let's start by removing and changing the presser foot. As you can see, behind the presser foot, there is uh, this black thing. So in order to drop the presser foot, you're just gonna be pressing on it like that, and then it just drops. Now we'll be putting on D. <laughs> um, make sure your needle is out of the way like that, that's good. And what you want to do is align this little line right here with the metal lever that's right here. This side view makes it a little easier to see what I mean, so just make sure it's really well aligned. And now all that you have to do is just drop this lever right here, the presser foot lever, like that, and then you just put it down. So while you're putting it down, hold this, and keep trying to align it because it might not work on the first try. Okay, like here it didn't really work, so I'm just gonna move it around. Oh, and there we go. Did you hear that sound? That's when you know it's up. There you go, that easy. Now though, we're gonna be learning how to switch the needle. So first step is to get rid of the presser foot. So you touch that black lever in the back again, it just drops and you move it out of the way. Now get a piece of scrap fabric and put it right here just because we don't want our needle to fall in that hole. Oh God, that's like my worst nightmare. Don't let that happen to you. And now you're gonna reach uh, the screwdriver that's in your accessories. Now hold this needle pretty tight while loosening this screw. There we go, it's out. Now what you would do is uh, insert the needle that you're gonna need, but I need this needle, so I'm just gonna put it right back. As you can see, there is a flat side, and this is it. So that flat side should go towards the back. Find the hole. Ah, okay, no. My cat, <laughs> Einstein, no. Sorry, my cat speaks French. And if you're having a hard time inserting it, make sure that this is well, oh, well unscrewed. Not that much though. This should be good. Okay, and as you can see, it goes up. I'm using my uh, nail, but I don't suggest doing that. Now just make sure it's all the way to the top, okay? And then all you have to do is screw it back on. So this should not be able to move just with your fingers. Then you know it's tight enough. And yeah, same thing with your needle. And yeah, just make sure it's all the way to the top. Now let's move on to this metal palette. What you're gonna do is take out your bobbin. Take your screwdriver again and loosen those screws. The angle to do this might be a little difficult and your screws are probably gonna be really, really tight. The first time I did this, it took me like 30 minutes to unscrew everything, but I just, now I just leave them really unscrewed because oh, I don't wanna go through that again. Actually, I can just do this, this is what I mean. Also, I'm sorry, I also have makeup on my hand again. All right, there you go. Just don't lose these two. Now you can just easily remove it. Well, easily. Without nails, it's kind of hard. There you go. And this is the inside of your machine. Ooh. So yeah, it gets dirty uh, pretty easily, so you might want to clean this from time to time. But I'm really showing you this because sometimes you'll be sewing with especially stretch fabric, and it's going to get stuck. And the only way to get it unstuck usually is to take this off because it'll be stuck in this part. So you take that off, then <laughs> the fabric's gonna follow you and you just trim it or use a seam ripper or tweezers, whatever you have on hand. And you try to get rid of it, but be careful about not breaking any of this because that would be a big hassle. 
And yeah, just getting familiar with this part of your machine is going to make sewing a lot easier when you make a mistake. And let's put it back on. You want to put this under here. Perfect. That's enough for me. All right, this is the end of day two. Good job, everybody. Now your homework is to change the needle as often as you need to get comfortable. Same thing with the presser foot and the metal palette. And yeah, just get familiar with your sewing machine. All right, don't forget, you cannot move on to day three until you finish your homework. So I'll see you in day three. Thank you for watching.